In this video, we would like to discuss how you can backtest your CBOTS. You will learn where you can access backtesting, how you can configure backtesting settings, and how you can interpret the results of backtesting. In brief, CBOTS are fully customizable trading robots that you can configure to perform various trading actions when encountering certain market movements and events such as MACD crossovers. In most cases, you would want to refine a CBOT before letting it trade on your behalf. To do so, you can run a CBOT on a set of historical market data without risking anything tangible. A process known as backtesting. We highly recommend conducting thorough backtesting for any CBOTs that you have created yourself or have acquired through other channels. To access backtesting, first, select an existing instance of the CBOT you would like to evaluate. Afterward, click on the backtesting tab. You should see an interface that is quite similar to regular CTrader with a couple of notable differences. Backtesting lets CBOTs trade on historical data and you have the full freedom to define the exact period that the backtesting process should cover. For example, you can do so by dragging the left and right points in the calendar slider. We will set a backtesting period that is approximately equal to two years. You can also use the calendar drop-down menus to the left and the right of the slider to select a precise date range. To make sure that our backtesting period is exactly two years in length, we can open the menu to the left to select December 5, 2020 as the new start date. Before performing a backtest, we can also customize several settings such as the starting capital of our CBOT or the source of historical data we would like the CBOT to trade on. To change these parameters, click on the cog icon just to the left of the leftmost calendar menu. We are going to increase the starting capital of our CBOT to 20,000 just to make sure that it has enough funds for making risky plays. We will also lower the commissions our CBOT will pay when trading a million units. A CBOT may make hundreds of trades during backtesting and we do not want commissions to threaten its profits too much. We will also take a look at what sources of historical data are available to us. As you can see, you can request TIC, M1, or H1 data directly from the trading server or upload a custom set of data from a CSV file. When backtesting, our CBOT will operate based on M1 data from the server. This option is a good compromise between accuracy and resource intensiveness. With that done, we also need to choose a backtesting mode. Backtesting in visual mode enables you to see the results of backtesting, such as the positions opened by your CBOT, as they occur. This functionality is particularly useful for detecting certain events and conditions under which your CBOT does not behave as expected. When using visual mode, you can also adjust the playback speed in real time. For this video, we will leave visual mode disabled. Backtesting in regular mode may be slightly less informative, but it is also much quicker and demands less attention. We are now ready to perform a backtest. To do so, click on the play button to the right of the rightmost calendar menu. CTrader Automate will start loading the requested historical data. This process may take several minutes depending on the period you have chosen and the hardware on which you are running CTrader. When backtesting occurs, you will see the bar to the right of the visual mode flag gradually move from left to right. When it moves fully to the right, the backtesting process will conclude. After backtesting is concluded, the number at the center top of the trading chart will summarize the total net profit generated by your CBOT. As you can see, our robot has achieved solid returns despite facing very challenging market conditions. Another way to evaluate the performance of your CBOT is to switch to the Equity tab in the Trade Panel just below the Trade Chart. You will see a chart with the total number of trades your CBOT has made on the X-axis and funds on the Y-axis. The yellow line will track your CBOT balance while the gray line will track its equity. Right now, the chart shows that our CBOT has performed admirably but there may still be behaviors that we should correct. 
Last, but not least, we will switch to the Trade Statistics tab to see cumulative statistics about all trading actions performed by your CBOT. We can see that our CBOT has made a lot of winning moves and it looks like there is a lot of potential for making some risky trades. That said, we may still want to run additional backtests on other data or under different starting conditions. To summarize, backtesting is a great way to ensure that your CBOT performs as expected. Using detailed statistics and the equity chart, you can pinpoint the price moments when the robot you are testing was making the right or the wrong moves. Backtesting is also fully customizable, allowing you to train your bots in wildly different conditions.